welcome to my channel and I'll be giving a first impressions review on the new Shea Moisture lines, the Omega 369 line um, that just came out like two weeks ago at Ulta. If you watch my Ulta haul video that I posted yesterday, um, I told you how I was going to do a battle of the smoothies with the new Curl Enhancing Smoothie and the regular Copa and Hibiscus Smoothie. I just finished my wash and go. It's currently drying. I'm using my desk fan to dry my hair versus a diffuser because when I diffuse my hair I get ultimate shrinkage and bad enough I, ha I get shrinkage and not the real length that I really have. So anyway, I'm going to give my first impressions on the Shea Moisture Sasha Inchi Oil Omega 369 Rescue and Repair Clarifying Shampoo with Kiona and Rose of Jericho Extracts. And this is what it is. Like I said in my Ulta haul video, I said I really love the packaging. I love the fact that it's gray and it's one of my favorite colors. And I like the fact that it's geared toward damaged and distressed hair. My hair isn't damaged or distressed, but I don't see nothing wrong with giving your hair something that it may need in the future. So anyway, um, with ingredients, if you look in the Ulta haul video, I have the ingredients listed in the description box. I'm not going to... I'm not going to say them in this video because you could just go back in another video and you could read so pretty much this is a clarifying shampoo um i use clarifying shampoos once a month and since tomorrow is february i figure let me have clean hair on the first day so um it pretty much to apply to wet hair um try to focus clarifying shampoos on your scalp because you know, when you rinse out the shampoo, the water will carry the shampoo on your hair strands and remove all the dirt and all of that stuff like that. So pretty much, um, this cleaned my hair really, really good. Like, it stripped it to no end. Like, you know how, like, you wash dishes and you know how the dishes are clean when you hear that squeaky clean feeling? That's what I had when I used this clarifying shampoo. I don't mind the squeaky clean feeling because that means that my scalp is clean and my hair is clean. And it just lets me know that I have nothing on my hair. Like this got everything off my hair strands, all the gel, all the other smoothies and oils and stuff. This stripped everything. My hair was dry, of course, because that's what you get with a clarifying shampoo. But I'm really impressed with it. It smells really, really good. As far as consistency, it looks like water. Like, it, it looks like water. And, um, sorry about my nail. It, yeah. It's a little lather. You see a little lather there? It lathers up really, really well. And it smells like baby powder and dove soap. So if you like those type of smells, then you would definitely love this line. They also have a body wash and a hair lotion. Not a hair lotion. They have a body wash, a body lotion, a body scrub, and a massage oil. I've heard there's a conditioner, and I heard that there's a gel with this line. I haven't seen it, so if you've seen it, let me know. But I really, really like this shampoo. It cleaned my hair really well, and I'm going to have it forever because, like I said, I use this once a month. Um, I don't clarify my hair every day. It just I, Once a month is good for me. So next thing I used was the hair mask. Y'all, this hair mask, I don't know what Shea Moisture did, but my hair soaked the shit up. It ate it up. It just did pretty much everything. It's very thick. It reminds me of the the, the consistency of it. Um, it's whipped, but it's not at the same time. Like The consistency reminds me of the Manuka Honey deep conditioner how thick it is but this has ton of slip like my hair was really dry from this and because this line does not have a conditioner apparently or whatever the case is I didn't use a conditioner after I used this I just jumped straight into my mask and the minute I put it on my hair strands my curls were like yes moisture it just it soaked it up I had it plenty of slip I was finger detangling like my tangles melted away it just did its job and then when I rinsed it out my hair felt so soft so silky it felt hydrated I had some waves like it just made my hair feel really 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 good so I would definitely repurchase both of these like this 
I'm going to use it for the rest of the month of February. So I'm going to give my final review probably on Periscope or something. But this right here, so far, based off like first impressions, I really like it. It's white. It's thick. Like, I'm trying to scoop some up. Like, it's really thick. Like, see how chunky it is? Like, but when you put it in your hair, it just feels, it just glides. It just glides through my hair strands. And like I said, my hair felt so soft and hydrated. And I only use it for five minutes. The next time I use this, which will be next Sunday, I'm going to use it for 30 minutes. But I wanted to use it for five just to see, you know, the capability of it. But overall, I am impressed with this mask. Oh, this mask does have rice protein in it. Um, I know a lot of Shea Moisture masks, they do have a hint of, they do have protein in them. So, but my hair loves protein and this was amazing. So lastly, I have the smoothie. And it is a curl defining smoothie. So, um, this smells just like the line. It smells like Dove. It smells like powder. It smells fresh. It's like nice, fresh feeling. It's very, it's different from the curl enhancing smoothie. This is more whipped and watery, like not like extremely, like not like extreme watery, but it's, it's very thin versus a curl enhancing smoothie. It's thick, if you get what I'm saying, but this is what it looks like. I just want to pick some up. Like, see, like it's very, it's very thin. I'm going to, I'm going to do, put this on the back of my hand. But yeah, it's very thin. But it just goes on your hair really, really nice. Um, for me, I, I, put a, I put a shit ton in my hair just so I can feel like I'm doing something. Because if you put too little of this, it may not work. So I pretty much took like this much, rubbed it in the palm of my hands, and then spread it throughout my hair. I am going to do a wash and go video featuring this. I ran out of the gel that I just used for my hair. So I'm going to go buy some more and then I'm going to redo the wash and go and film it for you. But I'm based off this, my curls are defined. Um, my, my scalp feels really, really good. Like my scalp feels hydrated. I could actually feel like the fan. Like I don't know, it's weird. It feels My hair feels very airy and soft. Like it just feels very weightless. And I guess it's because of this and the entire line. So, um, it just feels really, really good. It smells good. It has a ton of slip. It goes on your hair like butter. It just glides on it. I would probably repurchase this again just based off my results. I want to post my results of this when it fully dries on Instagram. So, if you're not following me on Instagram, it's down here at the bottom. I don't know which side it's going to be on. It's probably going to be on this side. But follow me on Instagram so you can see the results from this smoothie. So, um, if you're asking what I use for my wash and go, I use my Shea Moisture Coconut Hibiscus Curl and Style Milk because I have very fine hair and this is light enough it's light enough to moisturize my hair and if I really wanted to I can use this by itself and throw on some eco styler gel or throw on my um, curl maker gel or my as I am curling jelly I could easily use this by itself but I use it with my with my smoothies and all that other good stuff but I use this as my leave-in then I use my Camille Rose Naturals Cocoa Nibs and Honey Oil to seal because I do the lock method. So I apply this, then my oil, and then my cream slash styler, and then I topped it off with my As I Am Curling Jelly. Y'all, this mixes well with my Camille Rose Butters. It mixes well with pretty much everything. This is like the new Eco Styler Gel for me because the regular Eco Styler Gel, it kind of is too heavy for my hair and it just does not mix it does not mix well with a lot of the products that I have. So this right here is my new Eco. It, it, it can work with my Diva Curl. It works with my Camille Rose. It works with my Shea Moisture. Eden Body Works. It mixes well with a lot of my favorite creams. So this is a holy grail, one of my favorite gels, and it's finished. I use it all up, we'll have this little corner, but I use it all up tonight and I'm really sad, so I will be buying the $20, the big one, the $20 little tub. So, like I said, my leave-in, my oil, 
and my cream and then I topped it off with this gel I have no flaking I have no white residue I have none of that because this gel mixes with I'm with the smoothie I'm glad it mixes well so my camera cut off but anyway I'm really impressed with this smoothie I mean we're gonna see how this dries but overall first impressions I love this shampoo I really love this mask I I, I yeah I love this mask um, and this smoothie it just smells so good I just wish that it wasn't so creamy and so thin I wish it was a little bit thicker but I mean my curls are defined so we're gonna see how this bad boy looks when it dries you can find these products at Ulta they aren't online yet I know I'm sorry Shea Moisture has not announced them I know I'm sorry but Please, you can check your Ulta and see if they have it. But um, I am going to do a wash and go video featuring everything that I did. So stay tuned for that. Like I said, I'm going to go to the store, buy another one of these. This is the As I Am Curling Jelly. And it's like $7, $8. No, that's a smoothie gel. I want to say this is like $10. But I love enough that I'm going to spend $20 for it. But anyway, thank you for watching. If you have used this, please let me know in the comment section if you like it or not. Um, as I say, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like it, subscribe, share it, thumb up the video, post some shit, and I will see you all in another video. Bye.